Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Jedi here, and today I'm bringing you guys something that I've never done here. And for this video, I'm joined by Epic. Hey. And we're going to be doing a kill race, as you can see in the title. Now, in case you don't know how a kill race works, Epic and I are in our own separate lobbies, yet we have the exact same settings, the exact same class, exact everything. And we're in a chilling in a private match. What we're going to be doing is we're going to start our game at the same time, and see who can get the most kills in five minutes. Whoever gets the most kills wins. It's just that simple. So, you ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Alright, let's do this. Right, so let's do this. Let's go. Okay. Oh my god. <sighs> Shit. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Come on, where's my throwing knife? My oh, throwing knife didn't died. Play. I'm so mad. Already? I am. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying about, like, ha, I'm still alive, but I'm not. Alright. What do you think of the new World War II? How are you liking it? I'm really enjoying it so far. How about yourself? It's a very good, nice boots on the ground game. It's really nice to see that Call of Duty have actually listened to the fans for once. I mean, yeah. it's only taken them, what, four years? Yeah, no kidding. It's really nice to see that. Like, I love the bank showing on this as well. Yeah. But so what I've heard... Really... Like, go ahead. Go on, Nick. After you. Right. But I heard on... I saw on Twitter from Charlie Intel that Sledgehammer was actually thinking about making AW2, but Bruh. Activision told them to do this. Advanced Warfare 2... Oh, no, mate. Oh, that would... Yeah. That would have been terrible. Spike drones again. Yeah, like, I know, right? I don't see how... Advanced Warfare got such positive reviews. It was, it was an okay game. It just wasn't what fans wanted. It was, a, it was right. like they were copying Titanfall in a way. Right. Well, Black Ops. Th I think Black Ops Three ah. copied Titanfall a little more than Advanced Warfare because Black Ops Three is wall running and so does Titanfall. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, and. It's either time for I can't remember. It's a game where it was like futuristic and yeah, they wanted to make a Call of Duty among that. But like, plus it, the only um, thing I'll give to Sledgehammer is it was their first time making a Call of Duty game. So yeah, they were the new people, but they, it wasn't the game's bad. It's just not what the fans wanted. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Like, what do you think Treyarch's gonna do next year? I know it's a little early to talk about that, but Black... what do you think? Well, apparently it's been leaked about Black Ops 4, but... Would it really go to Black Ops 4? I mean, they didn't do Modern Warfare 4, did they? No. They to Ghosts. Uh, they didn't do Modern Warfare 4. Yeah. I think they're still gonna definitely have Tunnel Hawks in. I mean, they've got yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like... As long as the Call of Duty has a throwable hatchet which banks, I'm happy. Yeah, I agree with you on that. <laughs> the thing we that sucks about videos still. Go ahead. There we go. Uh, the thing that sucks about this game though is that there's no ricochet tubes. Yeah, that is a bit of a downside. Yeah, if but you think about it, in hey. World War II, I know. Yeah, but two grenade launchers weren't that like. Were they? I I can't remember. I don't remember World War. World War. World War. War. Look at. I don't remember that having tubes. I no, World of War had tubes. The problem is, the main misconception people have with tubers is that they're just people who just spam grenade launchers and like move tubes and that. Yeah. But, you know, tubers who actually go for bank shots and be creative with it, that's what they don't see in tubers. That's why they complain about tubes. Exactly. Think about it, with the whole um, Black Ops 1 spawn tube system, Mm -hmm. We didn't have the whole, like, that, that whole thing where you can shoot it before, that was a glitch. So it was ah. really, really weird, but it was a nice little... Did you not know that? I didn't know that it was a glitch. Actually. It was... They made the tube inactive because people were complaining about getting spawn tubes at the start. Because Modern Warfare 2 had that problem where everyone was finding grenade launcher spots which you could take people out off their spawns. And Black Ops exactly, spawns, yeah. Ma making it a bit worse like that, so they just put the tubes inactive. 
until they found like randomly. And we and then, uh, luckily from it we got we Judah, got like which is really cool. We've got like WWK, XAMK, Dead, all those guys because of it. Yep. And Ricochet Ricochet tubes, I think. Yeah, Ricochet tubes also. Trying, trying to remember all of them. There was um, French cross kills, German cross kills, probably Spanish cross kills somewhere. I never saw them. But... Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that was. It just that probably should have been. Right. Alright, I'm down right, to the final get, get, get around get five seconds. Shit. Ah, oh, come on. Uh. Get that, get that, get that. Ah! No, I missed. I missed Come too. on, lunge. Oh, I just got the final kill there. Ah. Right, so. I'm not going to say how well I did, but. I'm not going to say right now either. Final kill cam is a quad throw knife, I think, for me? Yeah. My final kill was a triple throwing knife and a spade. Yeah, that was that was a really cool video. Yeah. But we're not going to give a result today. Nope. You gotta watch both of our perspectives for that. So if you're watching my perspective, then his perspective will be down in the description. And if you're watching Epic's perspective, he'll have mine in the description. So that's exactly. basically it then. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. That's gonna Make do sure it for you us. Like and go and check it. Ch check each other out in the description below. And that's gonna do it for us. And we hope to catch you guys next time. Peace. Stay epic, guys.